Hello everyone in Ho Chi Minh City. This is Philip Noyce here in Hollywood sending you greetings on the beginning of the 48 hour film project Vietnam. And we start with Ho Chi Minh City. But I wanted to make an announcement today because I've enlisted two of Hollywood's greatest luminaries, one of its greatest current producers and one of its greatest writers to join the prize list to you 48 hour film contestants. And I want to introduce my friend and colleague, Sunil Perkash sitting here in my office in Hollywood. Sunil produced for me Salt, that wonderful film with Angelina Jolie. Hi Sunil. And he also induced, uh, produced Enchanted, which was written by Bill Kelly, one of Hollywood's greatest screenwriters. And between them, Sunil and Bill are offering, well, what are you offering, Sunil? Well, let me start by saying I am thrilled to be part of the 48 hour film project in Vietnam and I am offering a producer mentor uh, to the winners and I am beyond excited to like discuss with you, help you in any way I can to go make great movies. And Bill Kelly, what are you offering well, to the 48 hour film say, project? Philip, that I'm totally excited to be a part of the 48 hour film project Vietnam. I'm thrilled to offer some online seminar work with your winning filmmaker, filmmakers as far as screenwriting. Okay, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City. Two of Hollywood's greatest current practitioners in the area of producing. Sunil Perkash is offered to mentor the winning production team. And Bill Kelly, number two, who's offered to mentor the winning screenwriter. And those are additional and maybe even greater prizes than the prizes already on offer um, that are being offered by colleagues of mine here in Hollywood. Last year from Ho Chi Minh City, I saw one of the most amazing short films I think that I've seen for years. The story of young children and their turtle. What a wonderful story that was. What a deserving winner that went on to attract international attention. Um, and I hope that this year we're going to find films just as good as that from Ho Chi Minh City.